Well, I commend Tyson because he, he's one of the guys that paved the way for me to be where I'm at. You know, he's a legendary champion. And the only thing I have to say about Mike Tyson is everyone is always trying to judge Mike Tyson. He lived his life the way he wanted to live his life. No one can say how what they would have done if they were in his shoes. Floyd Mayweather was taken aback by the revelations of a fixed bout between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, showcasing a range of emotions. Mayweather, renowned not just for his boxing prowess, but also for his astute business acumen in the sport, found himself grappling with conflicting sentiments despite the lucrative prospects of the matchup. As he reflected on the potential financial gains and the buzz it would generate among fans, Mayweather couldn't shake off his apprehensions about its broader implications for boxing. The undefeated former American boxing champion hailed as the fighter of the decade in 2010 expressed his unease regarding the upcoming bout scheduled for July 20th. While acknowledging the financial incentives at play and the excitement it promised, Mayweather's mind wandered back to the events of 2021. He recollected his own exhibition match against Logan Paul, Jake Paul's brother, and a prominent YouTuber, realizing the peculiar direction in which the sport seemed to be heading. Mayweather viewed the clash between Jake and Tyson as reasonable, contrasting it with the spectacle of Tyson facing Jake Paul, which he found outrageous. While recognizing the appeal of Tyson's return to boxing for his fans and the financial windfall it promises, Mayweather stressed the importance of maintaining the integrity of sports. He expressed concerns about the potential long-term impact of such matches on combat sports, emphasizing that sports should not solely be driven by financial gain, but also by preserving their integrity. Mike Tyson holds immense sway, not just in the realm of combat sports, but also transcends boundaries, exerting influence far beyond. His actions, whether positive or perilous, ripple across the sporting world. While some view his decisions as primarily driven by financial gain and fraught with risk, there's a recognition that Tyson's legacy remains untarnished. He commands the utmost respect and admiration, acknowledged as a pioneer whose footsteps many follow. Floyd Mayweather Jr. stands firm in defending Tyson, arguing against any condemnation of his choice to engage in a bout with Jake Paul. Iron Mike has faced significant criticism for neglecting his health and disregarding the importance of his age. However, Mayweather holds a different perspective. He admires Mike Tyson for his contributions to the sport, acknowledging him as a legendary champion who paved the way for fighters like himself. Mayweather commends Tyson for living life on his own terms, stating that nobody can truly understand his decisions unless they've walked in his shoes. Mayweather said, I'm not entirely at ease with the upcoming fight. My apprehensions stem from the fact that if this isn't just an exhibition match, it could be quite startling and unconventional. Paul seems to be entering the ring with immense vigor, while Tyson's prime seems to have faded into the past, roughly two decades ago, when Paul was merely a child of 10. Mayweather finds it difficult to find satisfaction in this matchup at the moment. It poses a considerable risk for Mike Tyson, potentially tarnishing his legacy, and more importantly, jeopardizing his health. This is Mayweather's primary concern. This match could significantly shape the perception of the sport moving forward. Mayweather had plenty to express about the upcoming bout, especially when comparing it to past exhibition matches. Typically, fights like this, such as his 2020 exhibition with Roy Jones Jr. or the bout against Evander Holyfield some time back, don't generate much excitement. However, this particular match has a different feel to it. It seems oddly real. Mike Tyson's approach to it shows his readiness for whatever comes his way. Mayweather admires his enduring hunger and passion. Nonetheless, at 57, he's pushing the limits. Even at his own age, Mayweather said that he understands how skills and technique can diminish over time. However, an old video of Mike Tyson has resurfaced, showing Tyson's intentions to fight Floyd. While this may not happen, Mayweather shared his prediction on the upcoming fight, and he slightly leans towards Mike Tyson over Jake Paul. It's not without risk for Tyson, but Mayweather senses that Tyson can weather the storm. There's something about Tyson's lifelong dedication that gives him an edge over Jake Paul, who still has much to develop in terms of weight and experience. Age might be Tyson's drawback, but Jake Paul faces challenges in his weight division and overall skill level. In Mayweather's view, Tyson holds the upper hand, and he hopes Tyson emerges victorious. Despite Mayweather offering some compliments towards Mike Tyson, 
It's widely known that they've had numerous conflicts since 2001, leading Tyson to hesitate in recognizing Mayweather as the greatest of all time. Mayweather's boxing career boasted 50 fights with an undefeated record, winning 27 by knockout and the rest by split or unanimous decisions. However, Tyson disregarded this achievement. In 2001, Tyson's residence was raided by the police, and he accused Mayweather of tipping them off, though Tyson later claimed to have reconciled with the incident. Nevertheless, several disputes between the two have arisen since then. In 2014, during a boxing event, Tyson made a calculated move to throw a punch at Mayweather, narrowly missing him. Mayweather, unfazed, didn't even flinch. Later, they awkwardly embraced, and Tyson expressed why he believed Mayweather belonged among the greatest in the sport. Tyson stated, Greatness isn't just about shielding yourself from others, it's about being embraced by them. Tyson emphasized Mayweather's inability to handle such a simple task alone, suggesting he was a timid and small-minded individual. Over the course of time, numerous videos surfaced online showcasing Tyson, reiterating his belief that Mayweather doesn't deserve the title of the greatest of all time. This narrative took an unexpected turn in 2021 amid escalating tensions between Floyd Mayweather and Jake Paul. Mike Tyson threw his support behind Floyd in a scenario where Floyd was expected to confront Jake Paul. The genesis of this endorsement stemmed from the lead-up to the highly anticipated showdown between Mayweather and Logan Paul, Jake's brother, in 2021. Prior to the scheduled bout, a promotional event in Miami spiraled into chaos after Jake Paul snatched Mayweather's hat, sparking a chaotic brawl between the two parties. Eventually, the YouTube sensation found himself sporting a bruised eye, just as Mayweather was dragged away, bellowing, I'll take down that fool! Consequently, tensions simmered between Floyd Mayweather and Jake Paul, hinting at a potential showdown. However, Tyson foresaw nothing but trouble in such a match for Jake Paul. With a limited perspective, Mike Tyson promptly dismissed the idea of confronting either of the Paul brothers in the future. Nah, he's in for a rough beating, remarked the former world heavyweight champion in an interview when questioned about Jake's chances against Mayweather. As for facing Jake or Logan, the formidable boxer affectionately declared, I have a soft spot for those guys. I couldn't bring myself to fight them. The showdown between Logan Paul and Mayweather ended without scoring and devoid of a knockout. In the buildup, both Mayweather and Paul expressed their desire to entertain the viewers. Mayweather stepped into the ring against the physically larger Logan Paul, who outweighed him by 34 and a half pounds and stood six inches taller. Despite Paul's fame garnered through social media, he had previously lost his only professional fight, whereas Mayweather boasted an undefeated record of 50 wins. The glaring experience gap led many to predict a knockout victory for Mayweather. However, throughout the eight rounds of fighting, Paul continuously grappled with Mayweather, while Mayweather managed to land shots and pursue Paul without expending much energy. The absence of judges at the special event meant no winner was declared. The exhibition, which marked the culmination of an evening filled with three other televised matches, showcased a diverse range of talents. Among them was Chad Johnson, a revered six-time Pro Bowl receiver with 11 NFL seasons under his belt, who engaged in an exhibition match against Brian Maxwell, a mixed martial artist and bare-knuckle fighter. Despite Johnson's commendable performance, he endured a knockdown in the fourth round echoing the Mayweather-Paul bout where the absence of judges left the outcome uncertain. The official fights were equally riveting, with Luis Arias pulling off a surprising upset against Jarrett Hurd in a middleweight clash, clinching victory via split decision. Later in the bout, during the seventh round of the pay-per-view spectacle featuring Floyd Mayweather and Logan Paul, the social media sensation, Paul squared up against the seasoned Mayweather. With a significant age and weight advantage, Paul, at 26, took a moment to catch his breath before unleashing an onslaught on the 44-year-old Mayweather. In 2017, Mayweather, who retired undefeated, landed a left hook on Paul. While not devastating by professional boxing standards, it still caught Paul's attention without staggering him. By the end of the eighth round, the crowd at Hard Rock Stadium expressed their dissatisfaction with both fighters, much like how the seventh round left hook momentarily sparked interest but failed to lead to anything significant. Despite the lackluster outcome, both fighters undoubtedly pocketed millions from the Sunday night bout. 
However, the exact figures remain undisclosed, as purse details typically rely on the sanctioning commission, such as the Florida State Boxing Commission, to make them public. In this exhibition match, contractual obligations kept the specifics of earnings under wraps, with no reputable boxing journalist divulging the figures. While it didn't culminate in a knockout, the anticipated result unfolded. Floyd Mayweather Jr., hailed as the pinnacle boxer of this era, effortlessly navigated through an exhibition encounter with Logan Paul, a social media sensation with minimal boxing experience, all while raking in millions. Both Mayweather Jr. and Paul have courted controversy in the lead-up to their bout, leveraging their respective past troubles to drum up interest in the fight. Mayweather's history with the law includes three convictions for domestic abuse. In 2002, he pleaded guilty to battery against the mother of one of his children, resulting in a suspended sentence. Then in 2004, he was found guilty of two counts of battery against two women he assaulted in a casino. Despite initially receiving another suspended sentence, the guilty verdict was later overturned in 2012. However, Mayweather did serve two months of a three-month prison sentence after striking a plea deal for reduced charges of DV and mistreatment related to an incident involving the mother of three of his children, Josie Harris. Now let's come to the highly anticipated clash between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. Set to unfold on July 20th, 2024, at the AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, this event promises global viewership through Netflix streaming. While Paul boasts a record of nine victories, his sole defeat to Tommy Fury in February 2023 hasn't deterred him, as he has clinched three victories since then. The regulations for the upcoming match have sparked the latest debate. Specific details regarding the number of rounds and professional sanctioning remain undisclosed. However, certain professional boxers such as British heavyweight Derek Chisora, who isn't involved in the fight, have stirred controversy with unfounded assertions. Chisora suggested that Paul and Tyson would wear headguards and use large 18 ounces gloves. These claims were swiftly refuted by Paul's business partner and co-founder of Most Valuable Promotions, Nakisa Bedarian. Bedarian took to Instagram to dismiss Chisora's allegations, stating unequivocally that there would be no headgear in the Paul vs. Tyson match. Despite attempts to spread misinformation, the anticipation for the event remains high, with millions expected to tune in. While evading the controversies surrounding the regulations, Paul's long-standing rival, KSI, emerged as one of the fiercest critics of their impending matchup. Nonetheless, Paul didn't shy away from firing back during an ex-exchange with Ross. Paul retorted, emphasizing the contrast. Do you want to discern the disparity between Mike Tyson and KSI? Mike Tyson will step into the ring with me, unlike KSI. So, who's the fool now? During the live stream alongside Aiden Ross, Jake Paul also unveiled his strategy for enhancing his physique and shedding excess weight. The upcoming fight on July 20th marks not only Jake Paul's debut on the streaming platform Netflix, but also his entry into the heavyweight division. Paul added, Mike may be 57, but he's committed by signing the contract unlike you, KSI. You may hurl insults as you please, but you're merely engrossed in your YouTube ventures while I'm revolutionizing the realm of boxing. Slamming KSI, Paul further said, Moreover, mark my words, our forthcoming showdown will be hailed as the pinnacle of 21 St. Century sporting spectacles. What rebuttal could possibly match that while you're occupied with FIFA reaction videos? Apologies, but we're hardly cut from the same cloth. Despite previously weighing as light as 183.0 pounds, Paul's recent fights have seen him compete at the 200 pounds cruiserweight limit. In contrast, his opponent Tyson Fury is a seasoned heavyweight, tipping the scales at 15, say, 7 LBS. To match Fury's weight, Paul disclosed his intention to bulk up to 220 pounds by the time he steps into the ring. This entails gaining over a stone in weight before the scheduled bout. During the stream, Paul also revisited his previous match against Tommy Fury, which remains his sole defeat in professional boxing. Despite his efforts to secure victory, the match concluded with a split decision loss for Paul. In the midst of their cruiserweight showdown, headlining a highly anticipated pay-per-view event in dual Saudi Arabia, Jake Paul delivered a decisive right hand to Tommy Fury. It was the sort of punch that typically graces highlight reels, reminiscent of the blow that floored the retired MMA icon Anderson Silva in his bout against Paul. Known initially for his YouTube exploits, 
Paul transitioned to professional boxing, gaining notoriety. In December 2021, he stunned audiences by knocking out Tyron Woodley, yet another aging MMA veteran, with an overhand right. However, Fury, a 23-year-old boxing prodigy hailing from England, absorbed Paul's blow without much reaction. Instead, he countered fiercely, peppering Paul with sharp jabs, a straight right, and a left hook to conclude the first round. This sequence raised doubts about whether Paul, age 26, and renowned more for his social media following than his boxing prowess, could truly best a legitimate boxer. The disparity in social media presence further underscored the narrative. Paul boasted a staggering 22.7 million Instagram followers, dwarfing Fury's 4.7 million. Yet as the fight unfolded, it became evident that numbers on social media didn't necessarily translate to dominance in the ring. In a compelling showdown, Fury, the half-brother of the renowned Tyson Fury, reigning as the World Boxing Council heavyweight champion, showcased superior boxing prowess. With a refined technique, he executed a prolonged, sharper jab, effectively landing authoritative power punches while exhibiting impeccable timing. The judges rendered their scores with two favoring Tommy Fury at 76, 73, while a third judge leaned towards Paul at 75, 74. In the immediate aftermath of the bout, Fury asserted his newfound legacy, proclaiming, Tonight, I forged my own path. With the weight of the world on my shoulders, I overcame the pressure and emerged victorious. With this triumph, Fury's professional record soared to 9, 0, while his opponent, Paul, tasted defeat for the first time in his career. Reflecting on the outcome, Paul, standing at six wins and one loss with four knockouts, humbly acknowledged, this experience is undoubtedly humbling, but I'll take it on the chin and grow from it. Paul's ascent in the boxing world was primarily fueled by hype, riding on a series of victories against well-known but part-time opponents. He skillfully cultivated the perception, largely through his own efforts, that he was capable of taking on elite fighters. He boldly challenged the retired welterweight champion Floyd Mayweather, who had convincingly defeated Paul's brother Logan in a 2021 exhibition match. Jake Paul even went as far as proclaiming his intention to defeat the super middleweight champion Canelo Alvarez by 2024, a mere three years after his debut professional bout. Despite headlining four pay-per-view events, Paul had yet to face a full-time professional boxer. Enter Fury, the youngest, most physically imposing and socially media-savvy member of a boxing dynasty. While Tyson Fury had dominated the heavyweight division since 2015, Tommy Fury was better recognized for his appearances on the reality television series Love Island. His two previous attempts to meet with Paul were thwarted when Fury's visa was denied due to his familial ties with Daniel Kenahan, the alleged leader of an Irish drug cartel wanted by U.S. authorities. To me, this was more than just a world title fight, Fury remarked after the match. Paul, experiencing his first professional defeat, encountered an opponent who deviated from the typical formula that had propelled him to boxing stardom. Previously, Paul had triumphed over older opponents outside the realm of professional boxing. Now facing a younger, more skilled adversary, Paul's usual tactics might prove less effective. His allure has always been rooted in the fascination of what would unfold when he confronted a genuine boxer. Overall, Floyd Mayweather's reaction to the controversial bout between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul underscores a broader debate about the direction of professional boxing. While recognizing the financial benefits and entertainment value such events offer, Mayweather's reservations highlight concerns about the sport's integrity and the welfare of its athletes. This clash of ideals between the commercialization of boxing and the preservation of its traditional values represents a critical juncture for the sport. As the line between entertainment and athletic competition continues to blur, the decisions made by legends like Tyson and influencers like Jake Paul will significantly shape the future of boxing. Mayweather, while conflicted, ultimately hopes for the preservation of the sport's integrity, even as he acknowledges the inevitable evolution driven by spectacle and profit. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos.